Hi Aquarius and welcome to your weekly re reading. It's from uh, February 27th to March 5th of 2023. Thank you for all being here. It's been a minute. Uh, when the this, uh, this super moon that we had there, uh, uh, my sense, I, 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 when that happened, I'm sure a lot of you are going through the same thing, uh, you know, uh, and the solar flares, of course, are not helping at this time as well. Uh, you know, I was going through, I mean, we are all going through an, an ascension uh, process right now. And so I got congested and I had to rest for a couple of days. So uh, that's why um, I, I couldn't have done your reading before, right? So I, first of all, I want to thank all of you here uh, for being with me uh, here. I want to thank all of you also for prayers and healings that you have sent uh, and all your kind words that you have sent to my mom. My mom isn't feeling good at this time okay um yeah and uh so again a big thank you for that and uh, for all the love and support i also want to mention that uh, for those of you that do not know that i am open for personal readings underneath the video there's there's like a description box and there it's everything you need to know like uh, which email to use for the the personal readings my daughter my daughter-in-law is taking care of that she's helping me but please be patient because there's a lot of people coming in together and uh, I, I'm only one person, so I'm only, you know, uh, uh, she will respond. Okay, just give her time, all right? And uh, for those of you that want to see me on social media for free mini readings that I do, uh, follow the links underneath the video. For those of you that want, uh, uh, you know, these beautiful cards that I'm using um, from in, Into Tarot, they have their website and they also have, uh, of course, um, uh, they're also on Etsy, and right now on Etsy, they are having a uh, they are having a, a sell on their cards. Okay, a special. So uh, we're gonna do two parts of your reading. So this is something new that I'm trying out. First part will be generalized. It could be about anything or, uh, in your life, okay, or work or love. Not not really love, but you could put it towards love if you want. But it's a general reading. The second part will be about love. It could be someone special in your life, or for those of you that are dating someone. Or it can be about uh, the person that you're with, okay, or your soulmate, whatever the case is, it's about love. Or if there's nobody in your environment, it's about you, all right? So let's get started with your reading. Anywhere that you have Aquarius in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you, anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it. But if it doesn't, look at your other placements. Sometimes it's important to look at your ascendant, which is your rising moon or whatever placements, because it sometimes will help you to um, finalize on, on the things that you're feeling or going through. In the reading, you take what's yours and you let the rest go. Feel free to also swap the energies around if you feel that I'm not talking about you. Cuspers and cross watchers are welcome to the reading. So let's get started here. Okay. Let's look at the recent past. The star, the king of cups reversed. You came into your own reading or you're dealing with another Aquarius. This is a, well, it came sideways a bit. They came like this, right? So you're coming out of a, a stage here of, uh, of uh, you know, um, maybe some of you are feeling on, uh, um, not emotional, fulfilled at this time, and not able to, um, maybe you're dealing with someone around you that is not emotionally available or uh, someone here that's feeling moody. This card these two cards man. and the ace of cups reverse yeah someone here is going within this could be you going within a lot of self-love self, -love, self a lot of reflection self-love and self-care in the situation here um then you got the eight of wands reversed okay so, uh, something slowed down in the present moment uh, maybe not having there's no communication here there could have been delays there could be delays as well let's see you have to got you got the eight of wands reversed the six of wands reversed. And the eight of cups. Walking away from something or someone here. Or it could be a pattern. It could be anything here. Okay. Walking away towards your uh, wish fulfillment. Towards your happiness. Of something that did not uh, take place here. Uh, you know. Um, something in vain. 
going towards your dream or menace you're walking towards what you truly desire here okay you're walking away from things that no longer serve you and you're letting go let's look at uh, in the immediate future you've got the hierophant reverse taurus energy you're letting go also of traditions i feel for some of you six of cups you're healing from something here definitely you're healing uh there's memories of the past here uh there could be a jet in the immediate future there could be someone here uh that is a bit different than you in terms like it's not someone that's rigid yeah or uh, it's unconventional maybe in a situation and the ace of swords uh, you're gonna have a breakthrough in the situation there could be a, a person here coming in uh, there's gonna be a breakthrough communication is gonna take place you're gonna be clear you're gonna be focused you're moving on from a situation here okay and you're very clear of uh, what uh, for some of you this has to do with someone from your past here for sure um, you got the eight uh, the king of Pentacles reversed this is your challenge and in the overall you got the seven of swords reversed the Empress reversed yeah something didn't come into fruition here for you someone's coming out of time of isolation okay it has to do with someone from the past you're an energy there could be happiness here and taking place again Can you see yeah definitely here uh -huh. okay all right Let's look at the challenge. The challenge is the King of Pentacles reverse. There could have been some type of unstableness in the, um, not feeling unstable in finances. If not, it's someone here that was unstable. Uh, someone that uh, was ruled by materialism, maybe. Um, there could have been greed in the situation. Uh, someone that didn't feel protected. We have to see, I don't even have to clarify the challenge here for you. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles reversed. Three, uh, three of coins, upright. The nine of coins, the hermit reversed. Yeah, someone here was coming out of a time of isolation here. There was a lot of re uh, restrict or isolation or something forceful that had to take place. Uh, someone that maybe was self-absorbed in a situation um i need an extra card oh there it is <laughs> the seven of coins yeah i feel that uh whatever that uh, is being shown to you in terms of uh, finances or being stable here um had to i had to you have to understand that good things or whatever good things it takes time there had to be a long view or a long-term view in the situation here because it's a, a lot you had to foster patience in this okay because there is harvest here and i do see that and you're at crossroads right so you're coming out of a time that you've been uh, you know reflecting here uh there was a solitude and uh, growth and resolve in a situation and uh some of you uh with the nine of coins i do i do see that rewards are gonna some of you have to do this by yourself here i see that uh, in, in status here there's abundance here okay and doing it uh, your own way uh, there's fulfillment of freedom here and i do see uh that uh with the three of coins there will be some type of collaboration or you're going to be doing it together here there's some type of teamwork and also with the solar eclipse that came in here and this is everybody on the collective there's going to be big changes coming in okay timing is about six months and there will be uh, some type of transformation and catalyst for change and new beginnings that are going to take place okay now let's look at um the king of cups reversed maybe you had to go through a lot of uh, self-care and self-love and the card was like almost sideways here with the star card so it's about a wish being granted for you you got the ten of wands okay so yeah there was a lot of obstacles here along the way and uh, you're almost there okay like the ten becomes a one something is getting lifted here the journey is done in the recent past but there was obstacles definitely in terms of your emotions and or with someone here okay 
the Hierophant reverse, so you got Taurus again. Uh, yeah, you, 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 some of you had to go through a life, uh, there was life choices, okay? There could have been um, some type of freedom or challenge that you had to go through and you had to think for yourself in a situation because with the real reverse, a lot of you were seeking, uh, <coughs> sorry, you were seeking, uh, seeking closure. There could have been delays or no, disappointments. And uh, with the moon reversed, uh, Pisces or Cancerian, Cancerian energy here, it's about releasing the fear and anxiety that you had to go through because all you might have went through the dark night of the soul here. And it's about hearing and trusting your intuition and, and everything was is going to be shown to you or has been shown to you in the recent past. And with the two of wands here, you had two different paths to take. Okay. <coughs> Again, it's about future planning. And so you have to consider your options and make decisions here based on that now let's look at the current energy because here's something slowed down okay the momentum slowed down there was delays here uh something was in vain and someone walked away okay so let's look at the eight of wands reverse the six of wands reverse with the eight of cups the knight of swords the two of cups the ace of wands reversed the ten of cups Again, there was like a sense of someone you're holding back, right? There was uh, lacking, whatever the situation is, whatever the situation was, in the, okay? Or what you're going through right now, maybe, in the current energy. Give me a card for <coughs> the two of cups, please. Give me a card for the Ten of Cups. Give me a second. I'm just trying to get more uh, information before I start talking. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah. There was a, this was definitely a contract again with the six of ones reverse okay so let's say for example that there was someone okay in the current energy that's coming in okay coming in very quickly someone coming in very unexpected this is a person that is very impulsive and they're a type of people that when they come in okay like you know you see the two of cups energy and ten of cups yeah there could be a sense of being happy there could be some type of mutual agreement here or uh someone that's in sync or aligned okay uh, and there could be some type of stability, but at the same time, uh, with the eight, with the eight of wands reversed, okay, and the ace of wands reversed, and the six of wands reversed with the eight of cups, definitely someone here walked away from a situation. Why? Even though it felt good at that moment, or the situation felt good, whatever this was here, if it was also a friendship, you know, or a mutual feelings towards someone, um, it still was very unclear. Something was still very unclear here. There could have been a lot. There's a could have been having many possibilities there was confusion um there was uh you know uh, co yeah confusion uh lacking focus here in the situation and uh with the ace of wands reversed there was a lack of direction okay there was lack of direction yeah someone here was definitely holding back okay with the full reverse yeah because uh there was a sense of like lacking faith in the situation or someone that was very restless here okay Give me one more card for that, please. Again, Ace of Cups reversed here. Someone, again, they were saying like it was time to reflect here in the current energy. And it's about taking care of yourself and loving yourself first in the situation and trusting your intuition and getting in tune with your intuition here because it was all repression here. Uh, there could have been uh, towards, uh, could be around friendships or uh, reunions that you had or collaborations, okay, uh, and then, or social gatherings. It could be about friendship here, even though it shows that something could have been solid, okay. Um, there's something that was very confusing for you, for some of you and something, someone, someone here walked away. Because why? Because, it, and, and it, with the strength card, okay, um, it just shows here that, um, you know, it's about um, it's about your confidence, of course, but it's about taking your personal power back in a situation. That's why a lot of you had to walk away from a situation here. Okay, even though it felt, because it felt like, um, 
Pst, you know, where? How can I? Let me just look at the, the cards a second. Oh, I have to get the right word. <laughs> okay, well done. You know, when you have a, sh uh, it's called an, a shiny object syndrome, thinking that something is bigger than it is, right? And so with the Queen of Swords and energy here, okay, someone here was, uh, was very emotionally imbalanced here. You've got the King and Queen of Cups reversed. This has to do a, it was do a, do a contract or there was, could have been financial loss. Could have been about uh, you know uh, some type of uh, family issues or just uh, money issues, and someone here was conceited or self-centered, thinking about themselves, and so that's why you walked away from a situation. Let's look at the hierophant in the immediate future reversed. Why is the hierophant reversed here? Two of Swords. Something was unclear. Someone was withholding, there was stalemate, and you had to go within. Someone here had to go within. Um, yeah, there was regret here, emotional anguish. It could have been a trauma, guilt, okay, unresolved issues. And with the Eight of Wands, there was something slowed down completely. Okay, someone lost moment. There was, uh, in the immediate future, it still shows up here. There, there's an energy block, and something is taking time to align itself. But you will have uh, um, increase of... Uh, progress in the situation from one to two weeks from now let's look at the six of cups with the page uh, with the ace of swords upright so there will be a breakthrough here yeah it's like someone here was uh, lacking self-confidence there could have been someone that was running out of ideas okay feeling very restricted and it's about finding a new path with the six of cups reversed here you're remembering the past in the situation revisiting the past okay uh there could have been also someone returning from the past okay that did not work out well here Give me another card for the Ace of Wands. Hey, Ace of Swords, sorry. Ace of Swords. Yeah. So with this Ace of Swords comes in the Page of Cups, the Three of Swords reversed, and the King of Swords in energy. Okay, this is very beautiful. This is a mind over matter. Uh, there could be, uh, uh, there's good news, okay, when it comes to something here. It could be prospect or setting goals or someone that's grounded. It could be laying a foundation here. Um, for some of you, there, you're going to be there is forgiveness and uh, letting go, and for others of you, a small percentage, it could be some type of reconciliation. Okay, that you're dealing with. It's about being in focus here. It's about someone that is uh, very logical and truthful and doing it by the book. All right, now let's look at <clears throat> the overall. You got the Seven of Swords reverse. Someone here is coming clean. Okay, someone here is coming clean. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay, there was uh, this was uh, in this situation that took place with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Something was beyond your control. Okay, or someone in here was, uh, or if they were coming clean or coming clean and how they were feeling. This was a karmic lesson for some of you that you had to go to through. And uh, there is a turning point. Okay, with the lovers, some of you were dealing with a Gemini. Could have been about uh, choices that you had to make uh, in, with your connections or your interrelationships. sideways sideways okay um yeah you know sideways temperance um it's about bringing something into balance and communication taking place here uh, with the king of wands sideways it could have been someone here that was unpredictable and someone coming into leadership six of cups again uh six of pentacles uh sideways talks about uh, give and take equal or one-sided and you will have this clarity uh, for some of you already had this clarity or will have this clarity in the next full moon. Okay. What clarity? Let me see if they're going to show me. What clarity are they going to have? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, so you, this could take place, like I said, now or in the next full moon. Also, in this, it could be in a few weeks from now. It's about letting go and uh, celebrating life. This is your advice. It's about letting go and celebrating life and have fun. And some of you are going to take your strength back, okay? So you are going to be moving forward from the situation. It's about willpower, success, and control. And taking action. There will be travel indicated. And uh, do see that uh, summertime is going to be a time of good or even spring here, okay? It shows, all right? 
So um, this is your general reading. Now we're going to go into your part two of the reading. Someone could put the timestamps up uh, if possible uh, for general and love reading if you like. That would be great. I will pin it up. Yes, if a lot of you are feeling that my energy is low, it is actually. But I do want to get this, uh, these things done. My mom wants me to continue to do the readings even though she's not feeling good. Uh, you know, she wants me. <laughs> She's a tough lady. She makes me tough and strong and she gives me a lot of strength, my mom. Um, we have to move forward. Okay, let's look at uh, your uh, love story here. The first row will be about you. The second row will be about the energy that's attached to you. The third row will be about uh, what, it, what is the ending result. I will clarify some cards and then at the end of that I will give you an angel card, I will give you a numerology card and what the universe has to say to you. You got the high priestess. It's about trusting your intuition here. The nine of cups reversed. So you're going to readers, <laughs> you're watching readers, uh, our tarot readers on uh, Shows, or maybe some of you are and you're wanting to see when uh, your person is coming in and the tower reversed let's look at the energy that's attached to you the ace of wands reversed the knight of swords the seven of wands reversed Let's look at the overall, the conclusion. The, Queen's of the Queen of Wands reversed. The King of Swords reversed. Oh boy. We're going to clarify the cards, okay? Especially the ones that are reversed. The Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Cups, the Sun underneath the, the cards. That's very positive when you have the Sun card. Okay, so uh, the Tower took place here. There was something that had to take place. To, uh, and with the Nine of Cups reverse, maybe you're not able to give an offer at this time. Okay, some of you, this could be about uh, trusting and getting in tune with your intuition. Uh, whatever it is uh, in the energy around you, there is someone here that is lacking direction. And they're feeling very well overwhelmed but i do feel that someone is going to relay you a message here and i don't think it's going to be very nice the message that comes in okay they're coming in with like a, with a bang here okay in the overall the queen of wands reversed okay someone that is very temperamental someone here that with the queen of wands reversed here that um it's their way or the highway in that energy someone here is very narcissistic this is narcissistic the king of swords would too very narcissism energy here not able to talk because the emotions the uh, bubbling things are coming to the surface here and uh, you've got the page of cups which is there there is a romantic gesture here but the wheel of fortune is about seizing the moment the size of moment is about uh, something that's coming in uh, faded change okay and the sun is shining so we're gonna have to clarify the cards to see what's going on here for you We're going to take a look at uh, the Nine of Cups reversed and the Tower reversed. First.
one more time. Okay, cards are ready. Okay, let's look at the Knight of Cups reversed. What's this all about? Why is the Knight of Cups reversed? The Chariot. Cancerian energy doesn't have to be. This is about taking your power back here. <clears throat> it's about taking control and taking action. Is there anything else you could tell me about this, please? Why is the Knight of Cups here with the Chariot? Yeah, you may have challenges. There was external forces around you when it came to your relationships in any shape, way, or form. Okay, there was lack of draw or just a lot of uh, karmic lessons that you had to go through. And uh, I feel here that you had a lot of anguish and pain. Okay, you always were or maybe wanting to receive a message here from someone. Okay, whatever it is here, I do feel that you are taking back your power and you are moving forward in the situation here. This is what it shows me. Let's look at the tower reversed. Oh, that was fast. Okay. The Eight of Swords being in your mind a lot. A lot of like feeling feeling like uh, overthinking about something or just a lot of self-entrapment, a lot of negative thoughts that you had to, you had to go through. Um, you know, but the, what Spirit wanted to show you is that whatever took place in this tower that took place, it's about counting your blessings and they wanted you to be your true self. And it's like, uh, you know, also feeling good. Um, whatever it is, like some of you were dealing with a Sagittarius, it doesn't have to be. Uh, this was about opposite uh, union of opposites that, that took place in the situation here and how, okay. But there's a sense of healing that's taking place as well and harmony and patience and uh, communication because uh, with the Seven of Swords reversed here, uh, someone here is, is maybe uh, this is about <clears throat> remorse that had to take place, okay, and uh, someone got caught here. That's why the tower was there. Let me just uh, get another card for temperance here <clears throat> why is the temperance card here yeah there's an epiphany that took place here there could be someone coming towards you very slowly or this is you coming going towards you planning very slowly okay or there's someone coming around here and the, again you got the ace of swords and energy here which shows that there's an epiphany that took place an awareness and insight in the situation and there's, there's definitely maybe this is you going towards your goals you're taking your power back you're going Okay, uh, there's decisive, uh, there's probably communication and truth that is coming in for you, okay? Now, let's look at the energy attached to you. Let's look at the Ace of Wands reversed here. Lack of direction. Seven of Swords, uh, Seven of Wands upright. High Priestess reversed. Someone here was keeping everything inside, okay? Judgment reverse, yeah, indecisiveness. Okay, that took place here. Someone who felt disconnected from themselves, and I think that it shows you that someone is uh, is taking a stand here, or uh, facing it. Uh, someone here is facing something head on. Okay, with the Ace of Wands reversed, someone needs to step up here because it was a lot of uh, in, uh, whoever you're dealing with was very indecisive, and uh, it also felt like someone here didn't want to learn from their uh, uh, karmic lessons and a lot of self-negative ne talk here and someone has to like like are, you know someone here has to face something head on all right and um, you're going to gain some type of news here within one to two days or one to two weeks okay let's look at the uh, seven of wands reversed because someone here felt is feeling very overwhelmed seven of cups re, uh, upright yeah something here was unclear seven seven you see uh, there could have been many possibilities or confusion or someone lacking focus okay the lunar eclipse comes in with the five of one yeah, there, there could have been someone left out in the dark here if they felt left out uh, rejected here okay uh, or in turmoil 
uh, and uh, so someone here is getting out of it or came there was some type of recovery or uh, acceptance let's look at this knight of swords here it could be a rebuild for some of you but there is definitely positive positive changes with this person why is the knight of swords here what message is the Nine of Swords bringing in for Aquarius? Yeah, there could have been, uh, yeah, mm, three, three, uh, three of cups reversed. Someone went, to, okay, there could have been, there could have been uh, a third party. It doesn't have to be our love triangle here, but there was definitely uh, someone uh, under the influence. There could have been people, places, or situation. A lot of you were waiting for this person to come in or they someone here that uh, let me see yeah there's a death and rebirth it could be a transformation that's taking place I don't know it could be a new start uh, for sure, uh, but there's a, a you know there was definitely a, an external external change that took place where this had to do with love, like going to the next level. Okay, in love here, uh, someone's coming in because I do see that there's an end of a chapter here. I do see travel indicated, wholeness, sense of belonging, achievement. What's the overall end? Okay. Yeah, there was someone here that is someone that had lack, lack of effort. They were self-indulgent, imbalanced. There could have been addictions here. I'm wondering if someone here is changing or had to go through a change. Okay. Because as they're showing up here in this energy is that someone's changing. Something turned around here. Something took place. There was a lot of pain in, in this. It was a really unstable situation. It was. But there is a wish that's being granted though. It could be that someone's turning things around here. Yeah. It's like maybe in a situation that you were dealing with this person, Aquarius, they're making a total like... 360 change here it, it could be most definitely let's look at the queen of wands reversed in the uh, page of wands yeah there's good news here that's what they're showing okay something is coming into uh divine timing and uh, there could be some traveling here uh there's a start of something new let's look at the king of swords reversed eight of cups reversed the queen of swords reversed the hangman someone's someone's uh someone's returning that's for sure but i don't know man i'm sorry i feel that they're gonna be like there's like uh, they're, they, they can't see straight i feel that there's something calculating around that this person i'm wondering if there's someone new coming in i don't know someone here is being dishonest with self and other people you know they're faking their happiness here and there will be some type of awakening here it could be that there's uh, some of you are going to be yeah because someone here is uh, self is, is is manipulative in the overall or there could have been uh, some type of imbalance but there is some type of epiphany that's going to take place here let me see yeah. Insecure. Manipulative. Someone here that was not emotionally available. Someone that didn't, doesn't want to face their emotions. See, I got the king and queen reversed here. Maybe two people not being honest with themselves or something was in limbo here. Uh, there was some type of manipulation here. But 
but there's some type of epiphany that's taking or an awakening or looking at things in a different way here yeah maybe there was uh, some type of imbalance or insecurity here in a situation or something that didn't come into fruition but they're saying that there is success here there's a milestone in the situation but it's it's still in the overall okay let's look at um the page of cups here why is the page of cups here the hierophant the two of swords ten of pentacles the king of swords it's been a lot of pain in this situation that's all I could tell you I feel it but there's a uh, there's a light for the life here there's some type of stability with this king of swords here someone that is choosing mind over matter in this situation is very logic why is the wheel of fortune here a, a lot of you are going through a test of faith at this time it's about determination and holding the line and being persistent Some of you were dealing with someone that you had strings attached to. They were sh working on their shadow side here. Things that gripped you. Someone that was inflexible. Could have been uh, someone that lacked, uh, that wanted to be, there was aggressiveness around this. Okay. Queen of Wands. Sideways. Someone here is very guarded. I feel like someone here has to let go of the past and someone here. That's what I feel. And there's someone new coming in. Yeah, someone here that's very uh, hasty. I feel someone's coming back because I feel they're holding a grudge here. They're unpredictable. But you got this. This is about you moving forward away from the situation. I feel there's a new beginning taking place here for you. Yeah, got the six of swords. Tranquility. Okay, this is better times ahead. You're over gonna you're gonna be overcoming this hardship. Conflicts will be resolved. You're gonna become stable, restoration, and peace. There was poor someone here is dropping the ball in a situation, so I don't know. It was one-sided and someone here lacked confidence. But I do see the Ace of Cups coming in. So there is a new romance for some of you out there. I don't know. I know there's a lot of cards I had to take out. But it was very confusing at one point. Because uh, there was things like... Yeah, I felt like... Because everything is merging together. Some of you need... Okay, that's what it is. Okay, listen. Okay. I'll tell you what it is. There was discontented. Whatever you had. Okay, whatever imbalance was broken... Someone here is trying to shift the energy around you. Okay, that's why the end, like unexpected messages coming in. Okay, and they're gonna, this is about doing things differently. But both, but I do feel that you will have two paths to choose from. Okay, so you'll have to consider your options and make decisions. Okay, um, yeah, you're gonna have to choose between two. That's why it was confusing. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't tell what the hell was going on. So you could be a planning a vacation. Maybe you're going to go and plan vacation with someone here. But I don't feel that uh, if you are trying with someone from the past year, it's going to take a bit more time because what I feel is that someone is really disorganized, uh, very scattered and overcommitted in a situation. And I don't feel that there's too much interference and imbalance. Okay. Uh, I, I still feel here that uh, it's going to take some time. Uh, if you're trying to fix something of the past, it's going to probably take to six months. But I also see someone new coming in for you. Okay, because over here it showed me that there is, uh, you know, there's uh, an exter external change. There was a complete uh, uh, change or could be, could have been a breakup or endings taking place, right? And you also got the, the world card, end of a chapter. It's up to you at the end. You have to decide, Aquarius, what you do. You know, you have to decide. You need to decide. Okay, so let's look at the, an angel card. These are from my Into Tarot. They're so beautiful, these cards. 
Um, let's take an angel card, then we'll take out your numerology for your reading, and then we'll take out what the universe wants you to know. I do see traveling by car, by air, <laughs> Um, by boat but there is traveling involved here yeah, that's definitely taking place for you okay let's look at what Ar what archangel what is the message from one of your archangels here for Aquarius there you go you got archangel number nine so the completions, Archangel Ariel, keeper of Mother Earth, love nature, heart-centered, being outdoors, abundance of natural things, and care for Earth. So she, she says that I help and manifest the fulfillment of physical wants and needs and amplify your care of animals and the environment. Uh, it's important to, uh, to wear a rose quartz if you have a rose quartz for the next two weeks. Okay, that's your inspired action is to... Uh, for two weeks to carry a rose quartz okay there's a lot of transformation that's taking place here for you What's the numerology for Aquarius? Where are the angel numbers for Aquarius? Okay, you got two. You got number 14. I am practical, I am practical, I am practical. And so it is. You are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. And then you got number 88. I am wealthy, I am wealthy, I am wealthy, and so it is. You are on the cusp of a pro prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all which bring financial and material abundance into your life. That's beautiful. And let's look at what the universe wants to tell you. so weird i think uh capricorn also got uh, the first one so maybe you will got some of you have capricorn in your chart if you do look at the capricorn reading okay um you got parasitic parasitic symbolic it says uh, this is your oops sorry <laughs> this is your card it says your one party benefits while the other is depleted energy support and empathy are not equal give and take needs to become balanced here it says your rejection it's not you so don't reject yourself Re rejection is divine intervention it's better that way and heart chakra awaken your heart and a uh, center and let love in and that's why archangel uriel is telling you that for the next two weeks please wear a core a rose quartz or carry one with you i have one here right here you don't know if you see it yeah i love it so i hope you enjoyed your reading uh, aquarius don't forget to comment like share and subscribe know that i have your back and i love you all and i'll see you soon bye take care